Heat Television is brought to you by Columbia's Omni Heat. Keep your warmth, not your sweat. Mila, making premium German appliances since 1899. And by Ski Vermont, winter in its original state. This week, we visit a resort synonymous with skiing in the east. On the freestyle file, we meet mogul sensation Philippe Marquis. And then, Josh Foster helps us with our steep tree skiing. The next stop on our tour of Vermont is Stowe. They've been through a renaissance over the last eight seasons, but what they've always been known for is their great terrain. Stowe Mountain Resort is a place where history, hospitality, beauty, and adventure come together to create a world-class mountain experience. Since 1938, the resort has constantly strived to meet or exceed the needs of its guests. And over the past 10 years, a renaissance has occurred at Stowe with new high-speed quads, an intermountain gondola, snowmaking, new base facilities, and now, one of the most luxurious mountainside lodgings in the world, the Stowe Mountain Lodge. Well, we're going to start off our tour of Stowe with Christy and Scott. Where are you guys going to take us first? Let's warm up on Sunny Spruce. Sweet. Then we'll head to Mount Mansfield, really rip it up. Let's go. In the last uh, last eight to ten years, so many big improvements have happened here at Stowe, um, from putting in two high-speed quads at Spruce Peak to replace old uh, slow doubles. Um, then they put in the uh, over-easy transfer gondola, which connects Mount Mansfield and Spruce Peak, and finally brings it all together into one resort. Um, we put the Stowe Mountain Lodge, numerous on-mountain cabins, uh, the amenities. There's finally real ski in, ski out here at Stowe. As a local, we appreciate all the building that's happened here, but what we really love is how the train has just remained to be some of the best, if not the best, in the East. We have these great trails like Go and Star that can challenge you from top to bottom and you're high-fiving your friends at the bottom. On a sunny day, it's hard to beat. You got the white-capped ridge lines, the rime and snow really makes the trees into snow ghosts. Um, for high elevation, so you got views, panoramic views all over uh, northern Vermont. We can even see to Mount Washington in New Hampshire. Um, it's, it's just a beautiful area to ski on a sunny day. Well, we had a fantastic time skiing with Christy and Scott. They had to get back to the real jobs, though. One of the nice things about skiing here at Stowe Mountain is that you can stay right here, ski in, ski out at Stowe Mountain Lodge. We're located right on the mountain. It's one of the best things about Stowe Mountain Lodge is really the access to the slopes and just convenience in general. Uh, once you pull up you know, in front of Stowe Mountain Lodge, really, the rest is left up to us. The Stowe Mountain Lodge is the centerpiece for Spruce Peak and Stowe Mountain Resort and has something for the entire family. The hotel offers a vast array of services including a spa and wellness center to help you relax your tired body after a hard day of skiing. The ultimate in luxury experiences, this world-class spa will revitalize your body and get you ready for another great day on the slopes. The Spruce Peak development offers real estate and lodging, anchored by the Stowe Mountain Lodge with 312 rooms, including the front four private residences. These penthouse residences have up to four bedrooms, 
All is the luxury of home and offers spectacular views of Mount Mansfield or Spruce Peak. Spacious ski-in, ski-out mountain cabins offer rooms for large groups or families. Well, in some ways, the development at Spruce Peak, you know, started over 100 years ago. Uh, the mountain's always been kind of an evolution of recreation in the Northeast, and it's always been a center uh, for all types of folks from around the world to come in and recreate. You know, Spruce Peak at Stowe uh, began in earnest in 2004, um, you know, and, and now we have this fantastic hotel that's, you know, one of the top ski hotels in the world. But really, it, it's, uh, it's been an evolution over many, many years. Everything at Stowe Mountain Lodge is reflective of the natural surroundings of Vermont. In particular, the food is something they take great pride in. The dining facilities of Solstice and Hourglass insist on using only the freshest, natural, local ingredients a farm-to-fork approach. Chef Josh Berry is renowned for his imaginative culinary creations, and speaking from experience, the food is unbelievable. Offering the most luxurious mountain setting in the East, Stowe Mountain Lodge pays respect to Vermont tradition by embracing the beauty and tranquility of nature. Coming up, the sound of music in the backcountry of Vermont. Stowe has many great accommodation options. The one we're staying at today is the Trap Family Lodge, and they have tons of things to do here, and I can't wait to check them out. The Von Trapp family sure has notched out their place in history, not only in Vermont, but in America. They are known for their distinguished singing career and were the subject of the musical, The Sound of Music. This remarkable family fled their native Austria when they were invaded by Hitler and started their new lives in America as the Trap Family Singers. Their concert tours around the world and their new home that they had built in Stowe, Vermont are the foundation that the Trap Family Lodge was built upon. My father is the youngest of the three children that Maria and the captain had together. Our hotel, the Trap Family Lodge, has 96 rooms, and as well as dining room and lounge and sunroom and different little breakout rooms that have fireplaces and game rooms, which is really fun for people to gather. Fine dining and great accommodations are just a part of the Trap Family Lodge experience. Skiing and the outdoor center have been the heart of the winter experience here and the Trap Family Lodge Outdoor Center offers a variety of activities. Opening in the winter of 1968, the Trap Family Cross Country Center opened as the first full-service center of its kind in America, now home to one of the finest cross-country centers in the U.S. The 100-kilometer trail network offers terrain for all level of skier. We have 65 kilometers of groomed trails, and those also access other backcountry trails and other resorts. You can cross-country ski and backcountry ski over to Bolton, also over to Stowe Mountain Lodge. If skiing the groomed trails isn't enough for you, check this out. The Outdoor Center offers backcountry opportunities with over 40 kilometers of perfect terrain for those of you who are up to the task. Never being one to turn down a challenge, I join a group in search of untracked snow and we soon discovered paradise just a few minutes from the hotel. On our trek up to the backcountry, we come across this beautiful stone chapel that was built by the second eldest son of the Von Trapp family as a memorial to his time spent in the Second World War fighting for the U.S. 10th Mountain Division. My uncle Werner, 
who was one of the two boys that you see in the Sound of Music movie, but his name was changed for the movie. So he built this amazing chapel, it's beautiful, it's stone. He did it all himself over a seven year period. And my father also helped him. My dad was young at the time, um, but he helped him. And my parents were married here, and my brother was also married here. After the trek to the chapel, it was time for the reward. And like most things in life, it's not always as easy as it looks. I had a blast at the Trap Family Lodge today. I had never gone backcountry skiing before, uh, so there's a bit of a learning curve, but at least I had a soft landing. <laughs> for those considering backcountry for the first time, Trap Family Outdoor Center makes it easy, with equipment rentals and lessons available on short notice. So if you're looking for a new twist on your ski vacation, I would highly recommend a little backcountry adventure. It was time for a little lunch before the fun continued, and for some reason the Delhi Bakery caught my attention. Offering a wide variety of baked goods and lunch items, I discovered something that makes this place unique. Thank you. Just one more amazing thing about the trap. They came up with their very own lager. Trap lager. Anyway, guys, cheers. I think we're now in the, the beer trap, isn't it? Cheers. <laughs> Well, it was time to get back at it. The outdoor center at Trap Family Lodge offers more than just Nordic activities, and snowshoeing is one of them. They offer classes and clinics covering everything you'll need to know before heading out. Or, you may choose to do a scheduled snowshoe tour. Finally, if your legs need a break, you may wish to enjoy the beauty of the mountains on a horse-drawn sleigh ride. Well, we've had a fantastic day enjoying all that we could at the Trap Family Lodge and well, we're inside for some dinner now and I'm exhausted and starving from a long day of backcountry skiing. Anyway, I gotta dig into this duck. Bon appetit. The Freestyle File. In partnership with Columbia, proud supporter of the Canadian Freestyle Ski Team and its athletes. Hi, my name is Philip Marty. I'm 23 years old from the Canadian Mogul Ski Team. I grew up in Quebec City where I started skiing in Stoneham. Skiing in Stoneham, jumping uh, here and there, skiing in between the trees uh, was just something I started loving to do and my brother, and I started skiing around him and I got involved in Mogul Skiing which I felt in love yeah, as soon as I started. For our sport, I think commitment is it's definitely one of the most important point and key aspect uh, of it. But I've been able to uh, to get some good results here and there, especially last year where I was, I'm coming off my my career best year so far, and uh, I had my first win in Sweden, which was probably the greatest moment of uh, of the year for me. When I'm up there at, in the starting gate, for me, it's it's all about building up my confidence level and trying to put all all my runs together in my head so when I'm in the starting gate well it's just a matter of getting down there and do the job. Uh, I look up to surfer like uh, Kelly Slater, I look up to tri athletes like Simon Whitfield and those guys are such art trainer and they've accomplished so much. After watching my brother finishing sport at the Vancouver Olympic it was pretty cool and a little heartbreaking because he missed the podium by one spot. So I mean, for me to uh, to be able to kind of keep on the the marquee marquee's name going for the Sochi Olympic would be awesome for me. Coming up, we visit America's family resort. Now let's 
time for this week's web pool. Which piece of high-tech gear would you most want on the float? Is it A, a helmet kit, B, interactive goggles, or C, a ski GPS tracker? Log on to snowsportsculture.com today and take the poll. Just down the road from Stowe is Smuggler's Notch. Smugs, as the locals like to call it, boasts over a thousand acres of skiable terrain on three mountains with 78 fabulous runs and over 2,600 vertical feet of drop. We've moved just next door to Smuggler's Notch, Vermont. Hey, Hugh, Hugh Johnson is going to show us around. What's so special about this place? Uh, Smuggler's Notch, America's family resort. All right. What, what are we going to ski today? Right now, we're getting ready to go down Chilkoot, one of our most famous intermediate runs. All right. Let's check it out. All right. Sounds great. We have three interconnected mountains, Madonna, Sterling, and more. One of the wonderful things about Madonna is our long intermediate runs, such as Chilkoot, over two miles long, great views, and some wonderful terrain. Fungus Notch is known as a family resort. But once people get to the upper mountains, they're very shocked with the terrain they find, especially our double blacks with double fall lines and drops and stumps and rocks that really challenges those expert uh, skiers and riders. Good morning, skiers and riders. This is Hugh Johnson with the Noble Snow Report from Smuggler's Notch Resort for Wednesday, January 9th. I'm the snow reporter here at Smugs, and part of my duties is updating internet sites I do a telephone recording on the snow phone. I get to take pictures and put them on the web and also have a blog so I get to talk about who I ski with and what I got to do. Everybody wants my job and I'm not giving it up. <laughs> This ever cool? Yeah. What is? Why is it wide open like this? This is Sterling Pond, located on top of Sterling Mountain. Right. I don't know what's in the background here. This is Madonna, right behind. Me. Cool. Smuggler's Notch is named after the notch that connects Smugs and Stowe. Like many places in Vermont, the notch is steeped in history. Almost 200 years ago, goods from Canada were smuggled through the notch to avoid paying taxes. And during Prohibition, liquor was transported along this route and hidden in caves. We've wrapped up our day of skiing at Smuggler's Notch, and where are we again? At Retreat Canopy Adventures. Wait, is this thing on? The Arbor Trek Zipline Tour runs year-round and includes eight zip lines, two sky bridges, and rappelling. And if it looks like a lot of fun, well, yeah, you're right. And by the end of your three-hour tour, you will work your way up to a 1,000-foot-long zip line. We are a family experience here at Arbor Trek. We take out anywhere from ages 8 to 108. It's a great year with your family the whole time. In winter, we have two tour times, the 10 o'clock and the 1 o'clock tour, so it's a great way to get out, go skiing in the morning, hit the runs in the morning, and then you can come do our zip line tour in the afternoon, or vice versa. Um, it's something new. A lot of people have zip lines through the Caribbean and all these tropical places. Uh, this is a great way to experience Vermont wilderness um, in the winter and something else to do while you're on your ski vacation. Coming up next, I've got some tactics for skiing the steep trees. Stick around. Ski Tips with Josh Foster. 
sponsored by Canada's favorite family ski resort, Big White, in a Thompson Oak in August, near Kelowna, B.C. It's a little bit of a steep, short, powdery shot here in the Easter shoot. I love this type of skiing. It's a heck of a lot of fun. You know, one of the things, though, that I try to keep in mind when I'm skiing in this stuff here, it's a little bit like a race course, you know? I think tactically when I ski and train like this, I don't think technically. I develop the technical skills in the easy groom stuff, and I think tactically in this deep stuff. Line, things like that, speed, turn shape, and vision. Let's go try a few more here. You know, you ask any good ski coach, and they'll tell you what they do with their athletes is they work on technical skills outside the race course, and they work on tactical skills inside the race course. No difference here than in the steep. So when I think of vision, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to look as far down the slope as I can so I can see those openings in the trees. When I think of line, I'm thinking ahead, I'm looking ahead, and I'm planning. And you know what? Safety never takes a day off. Don't ski with your pull straps on in the trees, guys. So down here, guys, I'm just thinking ahead a little bit, being a bit more proactive with my line. So nothing surprises me on the way down. I get some rhythm, get some flow. So I want to keep my eyes up so I can see the gaps here between the trees. Looking at the openings, not so much at the trees themselves, because where I look is where I'm going to go. You know, over here in the Easter shoots, stormy day, sometimes this is the best skiing to find. So you want those little tools and those tricks that help you ski in this type of terrain. So these are the things that you need. Tactics. You want to think of line. Where are you going to put your feet for that next turn? And you want to think of vision. Keep your head up and keep looking where you're going. From beautiful Big White Ski Resort, Canada's favorite family resort and the home of Okanagan Champagne Powder, I'm Josh. We'll see you next time. Well, we certainly have had a busy tour through Vermont this week, starting off with the Stowe Mountain Lodge, luxurious at its best over there, and then heading to the Von Trapp Family Lodge, which had all those amazing snow sports, and finally wrapping things up right here at Smuggler's Notch. What an amazing family resort this is. Next week, we'll be back here to start our show off right at Smuggler's, and then we're going to head over to Jay Peak. Till then, I'm Steve Young. Have a great day skiing. Ski Television has been brought to you by... Columbia's Omni Heat. Keep your warmth, not your sweat. Mila, making premium German appliances since 1899. And by Bollet. If you never try, you'll never see it.